Hello everyone, this is Paul from Hi-Fi Made in China. Today in this video, I will show you how to replace the BMW display with our Android screen. Now, the first thing when you receive the order, you should take a look for the accessory you receive. The standard accessory including a power cable. This is the AUS cable. And this is the USB, the GPS antenna, and one piece RCA cable. Okay, we disconnect this cable. Here, practice. Then it's okay. Just like this. This is LVDS. Keep it as before. And here, this is the LVDS on the back of the screen. Cut this. Okay. This is the power cable. Insert the female connector to the head unit. Okay, this is the male connector, connect to the car power harness. This is the power for the screen. Okay, this is the GPS antenna. This is the RCA cable, this part. And here, this is the USB. This is the LVDS. It connects to the LVDS cable, which removed from the original display. Just like this. It's fine. As you can see, the connector, power connector, power for the screen, USB, RCA, and GPS antenna, LVDS, all is plug and play. Okay? It will be turned on. In some car types, you need to connect the AUS cable. You need to connect this cable just like this. And the other side, you need to connect to the AUX under the armrest box just like this. Okay? USB cable you can put in the glove box. Here, RCA cable, TV in and DVR in. This is optional. This icon can view the GPS signal. Yes, this is the GPS signal. Hello everyone, this is Paul from hi fi Man. Let's go on the video demo. Now we get into the car. I installed the GPS antenna in this place, a pillow. The GPS signal is good. And here, on the glass ball, I put the USB inside here. Under the armrest box, I connect the AUX here. After you connect the wire, the first thing you do is to get into the factory interface to set the car type 1314. Click OK. If your model is Qualcomm model. The password is different. Okay, we can see on the left side it shows car type and on the right side is the car model. Because this car is 
6.5 inch original display. So I chose this. The original is NBT system. So this kata is correct. So I can get into the factory interface. It shows the factory interface. Correct. Okay. If I chose the another car type, in my ROM, for example, I chose, for example, I chose this one. Click it. Then I click it. This is ROM car type. So, you need to choose the correct car type based on your car model. Here. The next thing you should do is to check if the Android model with the sound. That's easy because you can play a music. Here. Just play a music. It will be fine. It have the sound, right? It means the sound system is good. It have the sound. Okay? Okay, next. Here. This is factory eye drive. You can see the factory eye drive can control the angel menu. And on the left side, it can also control here so the, the i drive for the android unit is okay okay you can go to the factory interface here the factory interface same as before the i drive is working here all of the original functions work as before here media cd and telephone and other information same as before I can increase the the boring boring time so that's okay this button yes it worked right okay the mode button yes it worked This is the DVR because I installed a DVR here. Okay. Now I'm talking about the Bluetooth functions. Bluetooth functions, if you want to use the Android Bluetooth, you need to make sure. Go to the factory to make sure the setting is correct. I'm right here. Here, the there are setting for the Bluetooth. If you want to use the Android Bluetooth, you should show this one, ARM Bluetooth. It means aftermarket Bluetooth. Next, I will show you the Dizzle functions. Because many friends ask me the these functions. Here, I, I, I playing the music in the Android mode. At the same time, I use the navigation functions. Here, you can see the left front speaker with the GPS saw here, right? At the same time, I can use the Android to play the music here. And of course, you can use the original functions. For example, I play the... This is the factory radio. Okay, and at the same time, it can use the navigation. The navigation is great. It also have the sound when I drive. This is called Dizzle functions. Okay, and next, I will show you the real view camera. Here, it will show the camera on the back 
And here you can see this is dynamic line.